Lots of you have done a great job trying out the really cheap video lighting that we talked about in a few episodes back, where you're looking for this really kind of rich, pure black background and a really kind of a high contrast look. Now, if you are still experiencing some issues with that, in the last episode, we talked about placing your lights to help you get that look. In today's episode, we're gonna talk about one other thing you can do that is ex uh, setting your camera's exposure to get that look and, and to remove any issues with a gray background or lighting that's way too harsh on your actor. So stick around and listen to this. So if you're going for that high contrast look and you're getting a background that's kind of like this, maybe a darkish grayish kind of color, really harsh lighting on your, or too bright lighting on your actor, we can easily fix that. That's probably just a problem with the exposure setting on your camera. If you're having that problem, it's really that too much light is getting to the sensor to make up each frame. And we can fix that pretty easily. Here's how. Almost every camera has three ways to control exposure. And when you put your camera in automatic mode, the camera controls all of that and it makes some assumptions. For example, one of the assumptions it makes is that you want an overall brightness that's kind of average. Well, in a case like this, where we're trying to get a pure black background, that's not a true assumption. So we have to override the camera settings. Now, the first way you can control the amount of light that comes into your camera is by changing your shutter speed. Typically, we don't really want to change that when we're doing video. Um, if you're shooting at 30 frames a second, then you probably want your shutter speed set to about 1 60th of a second. If you're shooting 24 frames a second, you probably want it set to uh, about 50 frames a second. Now, there obviously are cases where you'd want to deviate from this, but for this kind of situation where we're doing kind of a video log or interview, you really want to stick around those settings. So let's just leave those as they are. The second setting is called ISO. And what this is, is this is how quickly your camera sensor soaks up the light that's hitting it. So the problem if you're in an automatic exposure mode or automatic mode is that your camera is assuming, hey, we want this to be an average brightness. So it's trying to get that black background. So it's kind of gray instead. And what that means is it's increasing the ISO setting as much as it can until it gets to a point where it makes that background gray. So we wanna override that. And this is probably the most effective thing you can do to get that look if you're having this problem. So what you wanna do is, is flip over to a manual exposure mode if your camera requires that and then decrease the ISO setting. In my setting here, if I'm shooting at night in a room that doesn't have any other lights going except for the video lights that I set up, I usually go at ISO 320. Your camera may not have that exact setting, but around 300 is a good place to start. And then take it down or up from there just to kind of get to this general area. The third setting is iris or aperture. They're pretty much the same thing. Uh, most video cameras will call it iris. Most uh, like DSLRs will call it your aperture. It's the same thing. What it is, is a little metal hole or diaphragm within your lens and you can make it smaller or bigger to control the amount of light that comes in to the camera and makes it to the sensor. So in this case, to make a smaller setting, we actually use, uh, or to, to let in less light, we use a higher number. So if after you've set your ISO, you still need to darken it up a little bit, you can increase that aperture setting or that iris setting to a higher number, and that'll get you to the, to the place you need to be. Now, one last thing, if your camera doesn't have manual exposure mode or you can't access the iris or, or the ISO settings, some will also have what's called an exposure compensation setting. In this case, what you might wanna do is just go into that setting and reduce it or, or go to the minus side a few steps and just sort of experiment with that until you get that background black and the lighting on your actor about in the right place. So quick summary, that's all there is to it. First of all, you wanna to switch to a manual exposure mode. You want to reduce your ISO starting somewhere around 300, and then you want to increase your aperture setting or iris setting until you get just the right look. And that's really all there is to it. I hope you found that helpful. Thanks again for checking out the show, and we'll talk to you again soon.